I wanted to make a video on how I'm converting this into um, an inverter. So this is a CyberPower 1500. That means it's 900 watts output. And um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get into it. I ran an air conditioner on it, a very large one actually, 6000 BTU, on it the other day. Um, it's going to be completely taken apart. It's a digital interface. Um, so you can, if you get a hold of one of these, you get to slide the top off of this. And then there's a bunch of screws on here you got to remove. And then these little tabs here. And then you just kind of basically have to rough it up because uh, there's a tab you can pop over here, but there's nothing over there. So what this kind of looks like to me is like a, a low frequency design, which would be really good instead of a high frequency because it's got this massive transformer in here. And um, so the problem that I've seen though is that these 10 gauge wires get pretty warm. So it'd be nice if we could put uh, bigger wires on here, but it might not matter because um, the way they got it set, the circuit board might not really be all much better. So anyway, um, I'm gonna try and kinda keep this thing open and test it and see what it does. Jeez, look at this thing. I mean, it's not like huge, but for one of these it is. So, I don't know if this actually has anything to do with the inverting process. I've never seen how this thing's hooked up. It's kind of strange. It's on the top of the heat sinks, which means they're energized. Um, and then there's our wires here. Looks like these fuses are probably soldered into the board. Silly design, but and again, I guess you can readily get available get them. Uh. There's a beeper, probably going to go ahead and remove that. So, I don't know. I don't know if I can really do anything about it. 10 gauge, you know, maybe add a little bigger wire to that. Um, from the pigtails. That's where it went to the batteries. So I was thinking maybe I would use these. These are, um, it came with my inverter. Um, one of my inverters. A 3000 watt, 2500 watt inverter usually comes with these. They're um, 10 millimeter squared, so they're about like seven gauge. Um, and they, you know, for those they recommend you run two of them. So this has, 10 gauge wires on it. We can't really do too much about that. Um, I mean, I could take this board out and try and solder two of those into there and it would be a real pain in the butt. It might not even help. So anyways, um, I think I'd probably put the case back on it. Since the fans in here and it'll help. <clears throat> um, and then uh, let me just um, try and make something up for the wires and then run it and see what it does. I know it'll run the air conditioner, so um, we'll just have to see. Anyway, uh, I'll make another video later. Thanks for watching, guys.